My name is Seth Kaufman. I have a band called Floating Action, and I'm here recording a song for Shaking Through. We are from Asheville, North Carolina. When bands come are touring, they usually don't come through Asheville. I actually live in um, Black Mountain, which is 20 minutes outside. It's a cool mountain town. It's great because you can just walk out your door and there's great trails and mountain biking and camping and stuff. How are you doing, man? Good. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, you too. I selected Seth and asked him if he wanted to come here and do this because I thought it would be a great chance to hang out and see him and, and from the most basic sense, I'm a huge fan. What's the first chord of that bridge again? It's F sharp minor. Oh, you know what would be cool? You just like lose one chord of rhythm yeah, and it's yeah. just like the solo spotlight. Oh, that'll be cool, yeah. That'll be cool coming out of that bridge into a solo because there's so much tension building up in that bridge. <laughs> The song I recorded for this is called Dead Reckoning. I think around Christmas that, that little melody popped into my head and I, I called my wife's cell phone and just sang that melody as a message just so I wouldn't forget it. The way I, I write, it's hard for me unless I kind of record it as I'm going. I tried purposely for this to not record it at all and just kind of let Scott shape it. When you write these three lines, do you mean C sharp, C sharp, D, D? I didn't know anything about that song coming into this. One mark means C sharp, D, D. I think it was cool not, not really having the chance to hear the song coming into things. I went to Africa when I was about 20 years old. I heard about these missionaries that had this farm way out in the bush, and uh, they were like, I just have to go. I, I just went by myself, and I was kind of like, I don't care if I ever come back. The tribe that I stayed with, millet, was kind of like their only thing. Like, they get into a big pile, and they have these, like, kind of a flexible young tree branch, and everybody just, like, moves in this circle, beating it. And it is really cool. It's this beat that you can hear it from like a mile away. It's just, it's like hip hop. And I, for some reason, I, I don't know, I've always preferred music. It's funky, but kind of laid back. I guess a lot of the, the stuff I was involved with over there, where the beat is, it's like just a split second behind it. And I, I just love that. Is the beat through the bridge basically this kind of the same feel through the rest of it? Okay. Well, I don't know if you wanted to kind of break it up. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking might be necessary in the bridge. These records are pretty much my favorite out there. Seth's music kind of blows all the need for definitions and things off of music. None of Seth's music feels like some reference or some attempt at a copy. It just feels like the natural extension of who he is as a person. Hey, you got pretty far along there. Yeah, um, you can get me somewhere in right after that. Okay. I used to play just violin, like classical, growing up. And I just kind of picked up guitar and never really intended to play in front of anyone, ever probably like 27. I got a four track and started kind of making stuff up. It bums me out that more musicians don't have that easy relationship with this process. Especially nowadays, it's so easy to have what it takes to just mess with this stuff. That's something I run into as a musician. I feel like you're fighting the good fight and nobody cares. And, and you know that it's important, but it's like you can't really make it happen. And that's what Weathervane sees and they're doing something about it. Yeah. 